well, how many of you guys have younger siblings? Of course. <laughs> well, I have all. I come from a large family, and so have like my parents and everything. And I'm one of nine, as I mentioned, first day of class. And I love having a family. Like it's like the world to me. It's who I am. And for some reason, I'm never gonna forget this. Um, my mom was pregnant with my youngest brother, um, Alex. And I'm always happy to have an addition to the family. Like to this day, if my mom says she was pregnant, I'd be like, yay, you know. But for some reason. <laughs> When my dad called me, he told me, you have a new little brother. I cried. <laughs> and I can't, I don't remember whether it was because I was happy or angry or sad. I just, I just remember crying. And I had never reacted that way to any of my other brothers or sisters. And what I realized from my youngest brother is that we all, as older siblings have a kind of like a maternal instinct or paternal instinct and that uh, you like from that you sacrifice and you have patience um, I'm never gonna forget the longest minute of my life my little brother Alex I think he was two or three years old he was choking on a little toy they're called Bakugans, I think, I don't know. And he was choking, and I'm never gonna forget my dad, my dad's voice crack. I don't know if you guys ever, like your dad is like this strong man, like, I've never seen my dad cry. And yet, that moment when his voice cracked, I just fell apart. My little brother was, he couldn't breathe. My dad was trying to take the toy out of his mouth. He's like, Alex, Alex, come on son, breathe, breathe. It was horrible. The first thing I thought was, oh my God, call 911. The longest man of my life is trying to make the damn operator lady understand that my little brother wasn't breathing. And um, yeah, she, um, she's like, 911, what's your emergency? I'm just like, like, hurry, like, I need someone. My little brother's not breathing, he's not breathing. And she's like, okay, okay, wait, hold on. I'm just gonna transfer your call. Cause you know, it's like, it's like non-emergencies and then they transfer you to another call. If any of you have ever made a 911 call before, I don't know. <laughs> but she was like, okay, I'll transfer you. I'm like, why are you transferring lady? I need your help. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like my brother's not breathing. Come on, like hurry up. And well, yeah, I got transferred and it's like, like, I need someone over here, my little brother's not breathing. At the time, my dad, he was in his bedroom trying to help my little brother, and he was just like frantic. He was like all over the place trying to like give him, is it CPR? No, not CPR. Uh, yeah, the high, high mm -hmm. And like, I remember, I'm not gonna forget the sight of when he was trying to, my little brother's spit was, it was blood. No, we're gonna forget that. And just before the ambulance came, a stupid little toy came out. <sighs> uh, and well, from that, it was just, it changed my life trying to realize that um, your siblings are everything to you. That, you know, you're, you have to take care of them and 